Welcome to Smashers. This is Monkey Games, and I'm talking about the balance update notes from the December 20th patch on Smash Legends. This is the second video of the patch notes because the uh, first video is quite long, so we're going to specifically focus on balance. So here's the legend changes. We have some buffs. Victor, Master Cat, Brick, Wolfgang, Don Quixote, Jacko, and Goldie all got buffed. Nerfs, we have Yong Yong, Cindy, Rapunzel, Witch Queen, Maya, Goldie, Robin, and Kura Nai. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And then a rework of Gumi. Reworks usually have nerfs and buffs. So let's get into the buffs. Victor. His ultimate electric pulse. Recovery time after using ultimate increases by 0.05 seconds. And then his ability, Limit Breaker, damage increase adjusted from 16 to 20, 18 to 22, 20 to 24, 22 to 26, 24 to 28. So that's 4% increase uh, across all of the levels. And the movement speed increase adjusted from 8 to 12, 10 to 14, 12 to 16. Oh, sorry. 8 to 12, 10 to 14, 12 to 16, 14 to 18, and 16 to 20. So again, 4% increase across all of it. I don't really play Victor. I have him unlocked. So I guess this is good. Master Cat, his skill, Feline Arts, Air. Ground skills damage increased by 150 and aerial skills damage increased by 100. Wow, okay. Uh, I always have trouble with Master Cat, so this means it's gonna be even harder to fight him. Oh man. Brick. Um, Again, this one is pretty good in domination, at least from my low-level tier games. Uh, he does really well. So they're giving him a buff, ground skill, his grill, skill groundworks. Brick's wall travels further before stopping. Wow. All right. That's going to make him a bit stronger, but not, not a big change. Wolfgang, and they give us a quote. Wolfgang's ability of landing the killing blow and combining off his attacks have been buffed. All right, what's his skill? Slash, ground skills damage increased by 100. Aerial skills damage increased by 50. Wow, that's quite a nice buff. Don Quixote, basic attack, shield bash. Aerial attacks startup time decreased by approximately 0 0.03 seconds. Not very big. Also found Don Quixote is good in domination, able to just sort of sit on that control point and uh, defend away. Jack O, basic attack, gentle, gentle gesture. That's sort of a tongue twist, twister, isn't it? Fixed an issue where his second ground attack would occasionally not hit, confirm. Okay, I don't know if that's really a buff, but just fixing a bug. But that's cool. So he's gonna, you know, register the attacks that should have been registered. Cool. Goldie, and then we see etc. Spray mark effect changed for visual improvement. That's cool. So it was that, you know, sort of green, hideous looking X. Hopefully they made it look better. On to nerfs. And our first victim is Yong Yong. And they say, etc. Yong Yong's hurt box slightly increased. Hurt box. Normally we see a hit box, but hurt box, that's kind of an interesting uh, play on the word. So they're going to make it a bit easier to hit Yong Yong. All right. Cindy, ability, perseverance, ultimate gauge reduction adjusted from 24 to 20, 26 to 22. So it looks like 
all the way. All right. Rapunzel, basic attack, Blade of Vengeance. Aerial attacks, lower frontal hitbox reduced. See, they used hitbox here. What's the difference between hurtbox and hitbox? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And then we have etc. Fixed an issue where her hitbox was bigger than her attack effect. Okay. That's cool. Uh, fixing bugs is great. Whether that's really a nerf or not, uh, I mean, it shouldn't have been happening anyways. Witch Queen, skill, evil spirit in the mirror, movement speed reduction on hit decreased from 40% to 30%. I think Witch Queen is quite strong, so making her a little bit less mobile is fine by me. Maya. Maya's ultimate hitbox was so good that it led to players spamming her ultimate rather than using it strategically. Difficulty of utilizing ultimate increased. All right, that's her ultimate. Go G love. Ultimate's hitbox greatly reduced. Cool. We're on to Goldie. Basic attack. The sick move. Aerial's, aerial attacks knockback slightly reduced. It's not a really big nerf. I think Goldie is still quite strong as well. Her ultimate's crazy. Robin. Basic attack. Shoot. Stun duration of aerial attack shortened. Knockbacks opponents higher into the air when hit. So the stun duration is shortened, but they the knockback is higher. All right, I mean, that's sort of a nerf, but also a bit of a buff too. Ability, adequate measures. Movement speed reduction duration adjusted from three seconds to two seconds. Imminent deadline. Damage increase per stack adjusted from four to three, so it's gone down 1%. And max damage increase adjusted from 20 to 15. So it's 5% across the board. Is this Karunai? Karuni? Karunai? How do you pronounce that? Karuni? Karuni is now left defenseless to enemies approaching from behind during his basic attacks. All right, basic attack. Art of Owl, or AO. Ground attacks backside hitbox slightly reduced. Okay, not a big nerf. And then we have this rework of Gumi. Gumi was designed to be weak in 3v3 skirmishes, but strong in 1v1 combat. However, there was a lot of negative feedback due to how difficult it was to approach her when she was on the other team. Therefore, we decided that a rework of her was necessary to improve the overall balance of battles. Her rework enables her to utilize a variety of strategies against multiple opponents. However, the startup and recovery time of her basic attack and skill has made her advantageous in 1v1 situations, have been adjusted drastically. Alright, looking at her basic attack, Foxfire. It can now pierce through enemies and hit multiple foes. The projectile speed is slower and will last longer. Her movement speed buffs duration is increased by approximately 0.08 seconds after a basic attack, but the amount of speed she gains has been reduced. Recovery time is increased by 0.1 seconds, stun duration slightly reduced, and max stack change from 4 to 3. All right. So this is what they showed us before that her basic pierces multiple foes. Um, and the projectile speed is slower, but it'll last longer. I mean, I've read this. I'm just trying to process what this means. We're gonna see how this goes, but wow. I mean, piercing multiple foes, I think is quite strong. From that, from that uh, spoiler video, yeah, I mean, I, 
I thought she was really strong before, but I think with these changes, she's still going to... I mean, it's nice the max stacks gets reduced from four to three. You definitely need to do that, but piercing is going to be really good. And then finally with her skill, Foxwind, ground skill startup time increased by approximately 0.13 seconds, and her aerial skill startup time increased by approximately 0.1 seconds. What will be interesting to see is... Will her price be reduced? I think she was like 29,000 gold to buy her because she was like the newest hero. And I would think because we're getting a new hero, perhaps the price of her will drop some. Um, the average price I think is somewhere around like 9,000 gold. The lowest I've seen is like 4,000 something. And then there's some slightly, in, there's something between 9,000 and 29,000. I think Molly and maybe a few others. So it'll be interesting to see what the prices, because they didn't mention that in any of the updates or in the in this balance change is the prices of the heroes. Or maybe they'll say the same. All right, we have some bug fixes here. Fix an issue where equipping Maya's second ability increased her stun duration by 0.5 seconds. Equipping Maya's second ability. How do you equip it? Do you activate it maybe? That's what I think they mean activate or use the second ability. Fix an issue where Yong Yong's ultimate ability effect applied the same as hitting one opponent even though it hit two or more, more foes. Okay. And then fix an issue where the shock wave from Peter's ultimate ability did not charge his ultimate. Okay, that's cool. That's good. So that makes Peter a little bit more viable. And as always, they, they talk about the game stat uh, checker. I'm guessing this is what they use to help help them figure out what needs balanced. You can check it out at smashlegends.gg. Uh, it's quite nice. All right, Smashers, let me know what you think about these balance changes. Uh, do you like uh, Gumi's rework? Do you like the Pierce? Let me know in the comments. And otherwise, I'll see you in library world.